Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today I want to show you some foods that you can buy if you're trying to become a healthier person. Uh, in general, anything that's perishable is probably going to be good for you. Uh, food that can advertise itself to you is probably not good for you. You want to avoid things that are processed and get things that are fresher, that, that can go bad, which means you kind of got to go to the store probably more than once a week. Um, and you, you got to make sure that you take care of everything and plus you're gonna need to do some prep for a lot of stuff but um, Once you can get past that stuff just start looking And my general rule is just buy the stuff that's on sale It's generally more in season and it's cheaper for you uh, So your body's gonna like it a little bit better uh, the environment's gonna like it a little bit better and it's gonna save on your wallet Now pantries are <laughs> kind of notoriously hard to film in because we don't have external light to push into there right now. So I, I just pulled some stuff out that I think is, we, we kind of go through these things a little bit more than the others. Um, and hopefully it'll give you some ideas for dry goods that you can store. Um, let's start with uh, just the nuts. So I, these are not all of what I'll get. I got some pine nuts, I'll get some sliced almonds. I like those on salads. Uh, pecans I've been putting on salads. Uh, these pistachios are delicious just for snacking. And then here's some freshly ground from uh, Whole Foods uh, nut butter, uh, peanut butter. This stuff is, is generally high calorie, but it's also generally pretty healthy. As long as you have it in moderation, you're gonna be fine. Uh, you probably wanna be super moderate about it if you're really trying to lose weight though. Next up, uh, let's end with maybe the worst stuff, uh, tea. I love having tea uh, late morning. I try not to have it any, try not to have caffeine afternoon because then it's hard to go to sleep and sleep is the most important thing you can do for your recovery. So in your pantry, I like to have tea. Just plain old green tea is super good. It's super healthy, but whatever you like, whatever you think is a little bit more tasty, green teas and black teas are gonna have more caffeine. Whereas you could get like a white tea is gonna have a really little amount of caffeine or some sort of herbal tea will usually give you some nutrients, uh, but won't keep you up at night. <laughs> Just make sure you read the package. Uh, we'll do some canned and jar stuff too. Canned beans are nice in a pinch. Uh, they're super cheap. If you can make them fresh, but we always forget to soak them overnight, uh, which kind of makes them a little easier on your gut. Uh, and then, uh, Sometimes we'll put tomatoes in and we'll kind of make our own sauce, but usually we're using something from a jar to kind of get us going. This is a sensitive marinara with no onions or garlic. That's been a lot better for my gut because I've been really sensitive to that stuff. So we highly recommend this. This is from Rao's Homemade. I don't know if this is a local thing. Uh, probably not, probably not. But I just get all this stuff at Whole Foods because it's super close. Uh, next, let's talk about this, because it's kind of in the same vein. Dry lentils, uh, we got rice in there, I didn't pull that out, but it's the same idea. Just like the beans, uh, just another thing you can cook. There's, I mean, that stuff is super cost effective, especially if you're like vegetarian, you're gonna have to have a lot of stuff, and you're gonna have to be pretty active so that those carbohydrates have somewhere to go, but that's a good way to get some protein on a vegetarian diet. I have oatmeal every morning. I don't have a whole lot of it. Um, and I do actually, I put some honey on it. I have some Manuka honey from one of my clients from Australia, his, uh, his family uh, from Australia, New Zealand, from New Zealand, caught me there. Uh, his family runs a whole uh, business and they do bee honey stuff and it's great. Uh, 309 honey, definitely check it out. It's super good, it's so delicious. So I have a very small amount of that with a very small amount of oatmeal in the morning and that kind of just uh, gives me some energy for the day. And then we've got this, let me move this. Let's go, these are kind of like our, <laughs> probably shouldn't have too much of this. Um, chips are just like an easy, I don't have to cook it kind of carb source, but this is a little bit more processed. You're gonna lose a little bit of nutrients, but generally not a big deal. Something, Some kind of chip where, at least as, as, it, as long as it's not super oily and super deep fried or whatever, um, you're, you're gonna be okay. That's the biggest issue is just the oils in there. Um, and then I've been having some gluten-free pretzels. I've been trying to avoid gluten since I have a lot of gut sensitivities and it just tends to make my stool not as happy. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, these gluten-free pretzels are 
not something that I, I definitely something that I try to avoid and do not have even every week probably, but uh, they're good in a pinch, especially if, you know, if I, if I only have salad, but I did have a pretty hard workout and I need some carbohydrates, then I might add some of this after my meal. And then the last thing I did want to mention was some sort of protein powder. Um, I, I have recommended Muscle Feast as a whey protein powder. They got all sorts of stuff. Um, their stuff is super, um, I just, I, they were the first company that I found a product where nothing else was in it. It was just whey protein and it's absolutely disgusting, but if you don't want all that extra stuff in your body, like <laughs> do it. <laughs> what I do now, I, I've switched to a pea protein because I'm trying to avoid dairy because my gut is kind of sensitive. I feel like there's a recurring theme here. Um, the pea protein works super well. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just put frozen fruit from the freezer um, into the blender, blend it up, and then I have something sweet that kind of masks the terrible flavor of highly processed <laughs> protein powder. Uh, but this is a good way to get a super quick meal. Uh, only takes, you know, five minutes to drink as long as I go fast. And I don't know, that's, that's pretty much the pantry though. All right, so starting here on the door in our lower shelf, this is kind of the stuff that we're not using very often. I got a little bit of clearance here so we can put some bottles or some larger jars. Uh, honestly, I don't even think we bought this jam. I use this, this, I mean, we've been here uh, 10 months probably and that's how much I've used of that. Uh, We've got some salsa that we will use, red hot we will use, and horseradish we use when we wanna make our own cocktail sauce for uh, some shrimp. Up here, I use this one a lot. It's really easy to reach, and it holds my egg containers super well. So I got 18, con or 18 egg containers here. I'll usually put two on top, and though it doesn't seem like it fits, there is this little ledge that stops it from falling out, so it works. Uh, chicken broth is a, a tall item, so it can go in this. Um, you can also put like, you know, gallons of water here, um, but we don't we don't hang on to a whole lot of that. Behind that, uh, some cured meats and some smoked fish. I don't have that too often anymore, just because it's so expensive. Uh, and we'll, we'll go up to the top here in a sec. Let's go down to the drawers in the main compartment. So we've almost always got a bag of bunch carrots. They keep really, really well and they keep for a long time. So we can always just pull some out of the bag. And then we've got our reusable vegetable containers here. Uh, here's some tomatoes. We've got a bell pepper and we've got beets back here. Um, beets are nice because they do keep a really long time. Green beans, however, they do not. Uh, these are still pretty fresh though, so we bought them recently. Uh, moving up above that, you'll see this container. We bought two rotisserie chickens uh, and Allison just pulled both of them all off the carcasses. We were able to throw it all away, get rid of the, the um, smelly chicken carcass. Uh, so it didn't just sit in our house forever. And all we've been doing is just we open it and we pull out of there. Um, that's been really good. Uh, rotisserie chicken is already cooked for you. And if you get the cheap one, it's like six bucks. So I highly recommend that. That's been great to just throw in my eggs in the morning uh, or on a salad in the afternoon. I got my baby carrots here, which I like to use every morning for breakfast. And then we got some berries behind there, which we don't use too many anymore, uh, but love them. Now, if we move up, we've got this here. So on the door, just some other stuff like uh, not using the stuff on the door too often, but this is our condiments. We have some ketchup, we have some mustard. Uh, you know, we have some mustard, we have some mustard. Um, we've got, uh, let me move the mic here. We've got uh, some more salsa, and I, I love this stuff, this uh, um, Tesame Organic Green Goddess. I use this on my salads, it's super great. And buffalo sauce, there's really not a whole lot of bad stuff in here, so we've been using that super well. Something like hot sauce, something like mustard, you, you can use that and still be super healthy because it doesn't throw in a bunch of extra calories. And then if we move over to the main compartment again, we, everything here is just like packaged, probably already been cooked, 
will expire if we don't use it kinds of stuff. And that's kind of the secret to being healthy when you're eating. Uh, you gotta have fresh stuff that goes, uh, goes out. It's got a bunch of preservatives in it. It's been processed and they remove the nutrients during those processes. So I had this big container of lettuce because I've been having a lot of lettuce for lunch and we got a backup one and Austin really likes it. arugula. There's some Parmesan cheese here, which we don't use super often. <laughs> that block is super old. Here's some romaine. Uh, leftover stuff, Allison made some taco stuff. So here's a corn that she split in half and she just shaves off some corn and some pre-cut tomatoes. And then behind it, we've got just some taco meat that's already been cooked. Here's our leftovers from last night. I'll probably have that for lunch. Uh, some bread, pre-cut uh, half, uh, half cut uh, onion. That's the word I'm looking for. We've got uh, avocado, we've got cilantro in this bag. Uh, we've got a bell pepper that's already cut, a jalapeno that's already cut. All of that stuff is just, hey, if I want some salsa or make some guacamole on my own, it's right there, it's ready. I just gotta finish cooking it. And then on the top we got herbs on the side here, some chocolate behind there. I got these cookies that uh, they sell at Whole Foods that Allison absolutely hates. They're just, they're too gross for her to eat even though they're cookies. That's how, that's how quote healthy they are. Uh, some beans just in a container. Our big stuff, since this is a big compartment, if we make soup or chili or something, we'll put it over here just because we have the clearance. Um, there's a jug of water and some almond milk there. And then just last thing on the door, we've got some butter, various oils. Um, fridge is not super packed though. It's got a lot of turnover too. Cause again, there's a lot of fresh stuff. That's not going to be quite as fresh because I left the door open for so long to do this video. Uh, but we've got ghee and we've got some vegan butter just because we haven't been doing very well with dairy. So we're trying to avoid it. And then for the last piece of this video, I just want to show you our, our spice and oil cabinet. Um, down here, you know, spices you can pretty much use as much as possible. Uh, they're not usually adding a bunch of calories as long as it doesn't taste sweet. As long as they don't put sugar in it, you're pretty much fine to use it. So we like to use a lot of salt because we don't otherwise, since we got rid of a bunch of the preservatives in our food, uh, salt is kind of hard to come by. So we definitely put salt on everything we eat. Um, salt and pepper are kind of just like the most used ones. We got this, I, f I don't know how to say that, but Puget uh, pepper grinder thing. And it is great. <laughs> That's one of the best gifts I've ever gotten anyone. Uh, some dried oregano. We have some of our own. We grew some herbs in the back and they're dried in paper bags or plastic bags behind everything. Um, but then just, you know, whatever kinds of tastes that you're looking for. Like we got curry. I love cumin. Um, we use those pretty frequently. There's some turmeric back there. Um, but most of the time what I'm using is basil, oregano, chili powder, salt, pepper. And then if we move up, we've got our fats. So fats are kind of a touchy subject. Um, Olive oil is like, it's healthy, but it doesn't hold up to high heat very well. Um, so we don't cook with the olive oil. I'll use it on something that's uh, not cooked very, like if we do long cooked vegetables in the oven, I might put olive oil on it. But if we're gonna put it above 400 degrees, then we're usually using this grapeseed oil here. Um, I had done, you can see behind it, I had done coconut oil and avocado oil but they're at the back of the shelf for a reason. Uh, my body just doesn't do very well with them, so I, I just don't use them very often. And then recently I've been trying out this duck fat, uh, which has been really good in my eggs, but it makes Allison kind of like nauseous, so she doesn't use that. So whenever we're making something for ourselves, we use either grapeseed oil or extra virgin olive oil. And then just some vinegar up here. And maybe worth mentioning, we don't really drink very much at all for me, but uh, we might cook with wine. And then we've got our whole peppercorns that we put in that beautiful uh, pepper grinder thing. But that's it, that's the kitchen. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified when I release new videos. 
If you need something else to watch, check out my playlist on kitchen stuff. I've got some other how to, you know, buy minimalist things and how to make some meals. We're gonna be building that out, so check that out. And uh, if you want maybe some exercise stuff, I've got a whole uh, playlist of mobility circuit stuff. Just kind of like hit play and follow along. I'll kind of explain what we're doing while we're going on, hopefully not too long-windedly. And uh, hopefully you'll feel nice and relaxed afterwards.